I've just come to show you how I made um, this little pocket. I had been using Edith Holden book pages to make them, um, but I'm kind of running short of them, so I've come up with my own pocket. So I just thought I would do a little kind of craft along with me or let's make. Um, this will probably go on my one of my playlists, which will be linked below. So you will need <coughs> a scoring board. Excuse the mess of mine because it's uh, it's got tea and coffee and everything over it, um, and. Uh, I'm using some A4 cardstock. You can use um, designer paper if you wish. So the size of the one that I already made <clears throat> is for well, to, to pop into my Traveller's Notebook. And um, let's get my ruler. This measures seven inches by four. So obviously if you wanted to make one taller then you would uh, and wider. You would again but I'll show you how to make this one right I'm just making sure I'm in frame here <clears throat> so this is an A4 sheet of plain cardstock so I'm going to score it at four and obviously having the longer length at the top just score it at four then eight and then eight and a half turn it around just the once <clears throat> Score it at seven and then score it at seven and a half. Then I can get rid of this. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see the score lines, but where it's four, eight and then eight and a half, I'm going to chop off the this part here. And I'll just quickly do that with my scissors. I do apologise if you can hear my dogs barking, but someone has just come to the door. It's probably another delivery of some sort. And then this bit at the bottom, leaving your um, half inch there, and you've got the half inch here. I'm going to take away this part here, because we don't need that. And then I'll just mitre this corner. So probably white wasn't the best uh, cardstock to use. Just take it up to the line, chop it off there, then just a little bit of a mitre there and there. Again, up here, it kind of saves it when you fold it in, it kind of saves it all sticking. And then I'm just going to fold it. And you can use your bond folder, I'm just going to use my finger for now. I've also been making envelopes, I might do that in a minute in a separate video because I like to try and keep them under 15 minutes and just so that it's easier for me to upload onto YouTube. There we go, so um, my circle punch doesn't work so it just keeps sticking it, um, I need to try and sharpen it somehow so I'm just using my tab punch and just using a little bit of that to punch a little notch in there like so and <clears throat> my ink pad because I want to ink in the inside here but if you're using designer cardstock or something like that you may not need to if it's double sided just do that because then you've got that there you can ink up before you do all the gluing but I'm not going to my glue um, I always put the longer flap down first and put this one over the top at the bottom. It kind of saves things sticking. And I'll just hold that for a few seconds so that it takes. You can use, you know, whatever glue you like, a stronger glue, qu a quicker drying glue if you like. But this actually is pretty much done now. So then we will glue that down. So I've already got two of these in the journal that I'm working on right now. And just make sure there's enough glue on there to hold it. I try not to go too near the edge there just in case it kind of oozes out and then it gets stuck when you push it all together. 
because we don't want it all glued inside as well, do, do we? I've just got a paper cut now. <laughs> That's what happens for not using my bond folder, which is absolutely filthy dirty. I wash that about twice a week, but it still gets really, really dirty. So I'm just going to go around all the edges. Uh, just to obviously ink it up. You can see the sponges actually starting to break apart. They get to use that often. So ink it all up. You can keep it white if you wish. Um, now here for some reason there's a little bit um, gone over. So I'm just going to trim that down just a little bit, being very careful that I don't cut the other piece or it's not worth it. I will have wasted what I've done. <laughs> right, so now I'm just going to use, you can use a book page or anything scraps that you have. Um, I'm just using a dictionary page. I'm just going to use my ruler to do some tearing. Um, just obviously kind of measure it up so that you know where you're you know how much you're going to tear off so I'm looking at about that much and that come off pretty well and then again so something that you don't have to really measure once you've obviously done the pocket so whatever size pocket you want, if you want a five inch, then score it at five inches, then ten, then ten and a half. Just depends on the size of the pages you have in your journal. Um, so I'm just going to go around the edges of that. Obviously, when you're doing it, take a little bit more care. I'm doing this a bit wild so that I can get it done. <clears throat> glue, use whatever glue, even a, a glue stick would be fine. If you're using a book page, I mean I am going to be covering over most of this anyway, but if you're using a book page, be mindful of the words because I think we've all pretty much done that, made something and then there's a, a word, you know, it just kind of seems to pop out that you really didn't notice when you were, um, when you initially made your project. Then I'm going to, I've got some printable music paper. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tear a little piece off of that as well. Again, I'm just using my ruler and tearing it. Oops. And again, here works really well. Put that on there. I'll just mine frame. Yes. Uh, just kind of fold it up so that I know where to tear it and then again just ink around that get some glue go just pop that on now I'm going to use some uh, lined paper I only really want a little bit of that so I'm gonna cut not cut but tear it about about there and then about here, I've got tons of these little tiny bits. I'm actually saving them all up. I know they'll come in handy for something. And just ink around. If you've got <clears throat> coffee dyed lined paper already, then use that. I have, but this paper is better quality. Um, so I'm using that. Then it's a nice thick paper and just pop that about there 
No, I had a piece of Edith Holden, there it is. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to tear a piece off that. And probably about there. Ink that up as well. Glue that down, see how much. Right, I'm gonna find, um, where did that go? There we go. These are freebies from Artie Mays. So I'm gonna use one of them. I do that one mm, popped it right on there I mean this isn't anything new it's just just me not using Edith Holden book pages to um, to make the whole thing because like I said they're I'm running short of them and I've been buying them on eBay for quite a while now and then all of a sudden the seller um, it's one of these book um, book shops on eBay, and they're on Amazon as well. They have doubled the price of their Edith Holden books. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got a bit of a cold. Yeah, they've doubled the prices of them. I think it's because they know everybody's buying them. Uh, fair play to them. Just stick that on there like so, and <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if that's big enough. It is big enough. If you're just going to glue that straight down, I mean, you could put a word up there. I might do that with the other ones. You know, a little word or maybe another, um, like another butterfly or something, which would look, would look really nice. Um, I'm going to cover this one. Because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So, um, but if you guys are going to glue it down, I wouldn't worry about decorating the back. Because what is the point? Uh, just somewhere else to write on. So there we have it, so that was the one I'd done earlier, and then there's that one, and then there's the other one that I made, which has actually got the same flower as that. These are actually from Tim Holtz, so that's me got like two similar, and then that one. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I will possibly be back in my next video to show you how I made the envelope just using cardstock so thanks for watching if you have any questions just ask and I will speak to you all soon bye